Hey guys, this is Foolish Portal 42 back with uh, just a quick little update on kind of my channel and um, World of Warcraft specifically. Um, as you can see, I've gained uh, quite a few levels uh, since my video, um, my last video. Uh, I've been working toward a very specific goal, uh, kind of off screen, uh, something that I kind of decided to do. I'm going to work on getting um, Redis in a very specific transmog, uh, which I've talked about previously. It's um, actually um, the Dark Iron um, plate set uh, that a lot of the um, Blood Elves wear. Maladash, uh, kind of red and black kind of set right here. Uh, I'm not for sure what that shield is i'm kind of still researching that um if anybody knows let me know <laughs> uh and i need to find a um um the only reason i use this hammer is the um judgment uses a hammer um graphic so i thought that would be more appropriate and i like that hammer pretty well um <clears throat> and also um once you hit kind of like level 48, I believe, you can come in and talk to Master Paranor and pick up a quest. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Uh, Black Rock Depths, Weapons of Darkness, um, which will actually give us a, um, I think it's a helm uh, for the Paladin, uh, which I actually already have. Uh, but more importantly, it will actually give me the Blood Knight um, Tabard there, which will kind of complete us. Um, and actually, even Torin can get this. You just have to complete the um, Paladin quest in um, um, one of the earlier dungeons, uh, the one that I did a couple of videos ago. Um, so, um, but yeah, I've, <clears throat> I've actually been working a lot of overtime, uh, so I've not really been able to get uh, any new recording for about a week and a half, and we had some house guests this weekend, and then I'm back into some more overtime this coming week, so I might be able to play, but I just can't record because my brain, I can't talk well, <laughs> um, which if I'm doing dungeon runs, um, no, I can't do that very well anyway. Um, but I also did um, off screen in preparation for um, um, the Dark Iron uh, Armor quest. Um, I did all of um, Searing Gorge, um, which is actually where probably about the last four levels came from. Um, so I did all of that, um, which I had done on Goblin previously. It hadn't really changed very much. Um, and I got uh, Revered with Thorium Brotherhood, which should get me all but one of the um, smithing patterns uh, when we get into um, Black, uh, Black Rock Depths. Um, which I think I can do uh, specific dungeons. Yeah, Black Rock Depths. So what we would do is uh, just queue for that. Um, I mean, we can still do... I love how... I, I know I talk about this a lot, but I love how all of these kind of level now. Um, so, uh, let's see, what else? Um... So I've got quite a bit of money. Uh, I've been doing a lot of mining. Um, my mining is way up there. Uh, my blacksmithing, I've definitely been working a lot on that. Uh, I've actually just learned uh, some thorium pieces, uh, which we won't really worry about thorium right now. Uh, I don't think any of the dark iron pieces require uh, thorium uh, ore or metal. Um, but uh, I ended up mining up about 
probably about four or five hundred pieces of mithril and moved really aggressively through the uh, mithril sets. Um, and uh, I think I've actually got a few pieces of the imperial plate. Uh, or maybe not. Uh, maybe imperial is the uh, the next thorium pieces, but but anyway, so that's kind of where I'm planning on going uh, in the next couple of videos. Um, just some more dungeon runs. Uh, these mid forties up to fifties, uh, those dungeons are a lot of fun. Uh, you can actually get some pretty good gear. Um, I actually made some gauntlets that uh, was an actual upgrade uh, which was kind of cool um, and I found some new boots um, what else so everything is progressing pretty well on Redis um, and then of course when we get into Outland I'll definitely be doing a lot of dungeons there because I love the dungeons in Outlands um, I like how Blizzard in toward the end of um, uh, whenever they came up with the uh, dungeon finder and they kind of divided everything up really well um, these dungeon runs you know got truncated from like an hour and a half to two hour runs down to 15 20 minute pieces so you could kind of go in and do all of that um, you know without having to you know do a lot of you know like prep work and stuff so I, I actually enjoyed that edition um i was going somewhere with that but anyway um the um oh yeah the uh, the ones in outlands those are kind of more tailored to that kind of idea of these dungeons should not be taking you know like that shouldn't be the focus like the questing should be the focus and not necessarily the dungeons which kind of in the original in vanilla wild like a lot of your quests kind of pointed you to the dungeons and then those dungeons became like a pretty big focus because that's where of course all your really good gear came from um, but uh, in that uh, once outland and wrath of the lich king came out it became kind of a less less focus on the dungeons uh, of course your really good gear still came from there but you know just your regular questing stuff was pretty nice too um, but anyway uh, I'm no I'm kind of rambling but if there's anything that you guys are really kind of wanting to look at or wanting to see um, I would really like to have some input because honestly I'm a bit at a loss of kind of what to do um i think probably i need to do gosh um see tanaris is back into mithril and i don't really need mithril anymore um and i don't think i'm quite high enough level to start getting quest in angaro crater and um but I've done Angaro before, I think. I think I did that on Baleen, so. Um, I guess, you know, I, I don't think I've actually done all of Winter Spring on a character yet. Um, hmm. Because that's, that's a, a really fun zone. Um, so I could I could come in and do Fellwood and work on my <laughs> my uh, um, Furbog rep and get some more um, smithing patterns uh, with them, I guess. Um, I know I did part of that on Baleen. Um, so, I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know. Um, and I will see you guys, hopefully, uh, I'm up uploading my last, uh, Dungeon Run video 
right now um, and I'll probably um, probably camp here for about a week and get a bunch of rested and probably he head to Fellwood actually that sounds fun and I'll probably record that because I, I really like Fellwood and it leads so well into winter spring um, and with the way that the level scaling works I should be probably 55 by the time I even get to winter spring so I will see you guys in the next video uh, and probably in, like I said in Fellwood um, I might do yeah I haven't done anything on my archaeology which I I usually do a lot of archaeology because it's good good experience um, but I've just been focusing on getting this so um, but anyway I will see you guys in the next video and I hope you guys uh, continue to enjoy these and um, hopefully we'll get into actual uh, Battle of Azeroth stuff um, before too long I'm leveling pretty aggressively because uh, I mean we're level almost level 50 and we're only on like episode 22 um, so we should be uh, probably level 90 hopefully by Christmas of this year uh, it's kind of the first week of October 2018 right now so uh, hopefully by Christmas we'll be into some Battle of Azeroth and uh, new stuff for myself. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, so hopefully I'll uh, see you guys probably give me about a week. And uh, maybe this weekend I'll get quite a few stuff um, recorded and up for you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.